This is my decision. I, I am a businessman. I can decide what is ancillary to what else. And the, once more, the court said, well, you are wrong, because in this decision, a specific decision to make or to consider one area as ancillary, accessory to another, you are abusing of your freedom, of your rights, and you have to pay taxes on both. Skip it. At the end, internal transfer pricing case, another case of some years ago. You know, in Italy, just like in, 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 in perhaps in Brazil, we are all around the world, we have transfer pricing regulations. Uh, but the point is that transfer pricing regulations are applied in Italy only to cross-border situation. We cannot apply them to internal cases. And this was an internal case with a company in Venice controlled by another in Trieste enjoying a preferential tax regime. Now the company in Venice entered into a sale and leaseback contract with the parent in Trieste. It sold the asset and get them back in the framework of a leasing. So it could deduct the payment, the monthly payment. Is that possible? What, what was the reason for that? The advantage of the exploitation of the Trieste tax, tax regime. Uh, so yes, I know that. I think it's, I was prepared for, for this situation and I got the, the yellow flag here with me. I think they are uh, raising the, they already, they already prepared the yellow one and believe it or not, I also have the red one. <laughs> but uh, let me, let me two other minutes for, for that. The point is that this, this operation is not covered by the traditional transfer pricing rules, but it's now covered by the abuse of law doctrine. You cannot enter it. You cannot enter into a sale and leaseback contract if there are no other reasons for that but tax savings. This is a case you see, case 10082 slash 2002. It's very, uh, it's not that recent, but it's now it's very important for us and perhaps for you as well, if you're planning to invest in my country, because that kind of contracts now are at risk. And eventually, testing the border, the, case, the last one, case number five, the so-called Piaggio and Daiatsu case, is a case of joint venture between the Daiatsu multinational and the Piaggio national company. The point is that they entered into a quite complicated uh, tax planning operation involving the incorporation of a joint venture in, in Italy and um, participated by both Piaggio and Daiatsu. Um, the point is that this joint venture purchased machineries uh, from the production of the, some minivans uh, and leased them to Piaggio for free. Piaggio used its workers and factories to produce the minivan and sell them to the P&D. Then P&D applied the trademark of Daiatsu on them and sell them again to Piaggio and Daiatsu. So it's, it's quite complicated, but that was the rationale. And Piaggio and Daiatsu eventually sold them on, on the market. Our guard of finance and the revenue service sell, said, well, P&D is, 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 is not a company, is not a joint venture, they are doing nothing. So that's another case of abuse of law. But in this case, sorry, skip the conclusion. The, Reven the, the Supreme Court said that, well, there, is, there are business purpose for that. There was a sound business plan behind that kind of operation. And so the decision is, was, was against the revenue, the revenue, the revenue service. Uh, that's it. I think the very last slide, and perhaps the most complicated, is this one. I, I think my duty should be also to rise some conclusion from my, from my presentation. Uh, there are no conclusions, because this is only an experience of, of my country that I wanted to convey you here in Brazil. And this morning, during the presentation by Professor Barada, was trying to, to, to some phrase or some words to, to conclude in a more appropriate or decent way my, my speech to you. But I think that perhaps the, the, the most uh, uh, effective image or idea was conveyed by, I don't know who chose them, Marcus Vinicius Neder or Joao, is conveyed by this poster, this wallpaper which is very inspiring to me as an Italian. We see there sorry, four people, black, tax inspectors, taxpayers, advisors, I don't know, they are together. Above them, there's the world with arrows coming from one side to the other 
uh, meaning perhaps in the, in the view of the organizers of the events, the exchange of ideas, of cultures, of principles, and of experience. But the most striking factor for me is there is one arrow going from Europe westward, that's probably Professor Van Raad and me, and, and the speakers of this afternoon, and three arrows moving from Brazil, very large arrows, towards Europe. So I, I think if I can interpret that, that, that world paper, that poster in the most appropriate way, is that the conclusion is yours as a Brazilian. Thank you for your attention.